Hi, I'm Sassy Scarborough and I'm here at the Slink main store and I'm about to get an update of my Slink Hourglass bundle which now includes a Redux version which is Bake on Mesh. They have worked for a year on this product which has taken away all the layers, reduced the scripting and reduced considerably the overall complexity of the product. You can get Redux versions of your feet, your hands, your bodies singularly or in the bundles. So I'm very excited. Bake on Mesh has hit the grid a few weeks ago so first of all just so that you know there is some handy signage up to explain that if you're not on a baked on mesh compatible viewer you're going to look a little something like that which I will show you in the future and I'm going to grab an update and go back to my studio and I'll see you there. Hi, here we are back in my studio and I'm going to use the Slink Unpacker HUD to unpack all the items. It lets you know on the HUD that there are several folders, so be patient and just accept them as they come in so that they stack in sort of order of how I'm doing this tutorial. In my recent tabs, I have it set to show me the most recent at the top so in other words what unpacks last will be at the top what unpacked first will be further down okay that's the landmark that's the last item press the X and it will detach from your body so let's stretch down my inventory so in the first folder you will have the Redux Hourglass Mesh Body Bundle. The Mesh Body Bundle is now its own attachment. So it is one attachment for your body, your hands and your feet which are deluxe if you're a female and it will be the regular flat feet if you're a male. The bundle being all one attachment in Redux only so it will only work in baked or mesh means that your complexity will be lower and it just frees up some attachment points. Then you have the Redux HUD, the Amiga Bridge which we will go into and the Blueberry Underwear in note cards with a lot of information but you can also go to the Slink Style website and there are videos as well so that you can learn more about Redux and the baked or mesh release. Bake or Mesh is a release across the whole grid so this is not slink only this is all body parts, heads, bodies that will incorporate Bake or Mesh in the future will work very similarly but the Redux system is a complete overhaul of the product entirely they removed all the layers as I've mentioned, released, uh, reduced script time and so on. Then you have the Asymmetry Harness. The Asymmetry Harness is a wearable attachment that is only available in the bundle because it incorporates the hands, the feet and the arms. So anybody that was using a left or right only tattoo or a one, sh one sleeved outfit uh, that was made as textures will be able to use this still by using an Omega applier or a slink applier on only those parts. So it won't mean that Redux will suddenly work with appliers, it just means the asymmetry harness will and if you need to use Omega appliers that's what the Omega bridge is for. You will need to wear it with that so that you're not loaded up in Omega scripts inside the body parts they made it a separate attachment. Then you have the Redux Hourglass Mesh Body on its own so you can just wear the body if you wear other hands or feet or whether you're a furry and you wear paws that way you've got the body on its own. Then you have the feet on their own and the hands on their own. The Redux hands and feet will only work with the Redux body or other bodies it will not work with the default SL avatar. Then you have the essential alpha layers. So because Bake or Mesh is system layer compatible, alphas need to be used instead of a scripted HUD. This again, as we said, brings down the complexity because the body doesn't have to be chopped into pieces to be scriptable to disappear. So you'll be able to use alphas. You can either use these ones, make your own, or creators will start including them with mesh. Check your older items as well in your inventory. If you have alphas that are included in clothing you previously had, you may find that those alphas are usable with newer clothing. The textures are included and there's also a handy UV template that you can wear as a tattoo so when you put mesh clothing on you'll see where it pokes through and you'll be able to make your own textures. A UV alpha texture looks a little bit something like this 
and it's very simple to do. There's a tutorial about that also on the Slink website. Then you have the Redux skins and brows. Some people don't have system layer skins because they may be new or they've only ever done appliers so they're included there as well as brows for the face and different options. The toe tips and fingertips are to hide the old lineage drawn on feet or the nail beds previously on older skins because they weren't created for a mesh. That'll come up later. Then you have the classic mesh body. As I said, you get both versions. You get the Redux that is bake on mesh or you get the classic. The classic is just a renaming convention so that you know that it means that you can still use pliers. You'll still have the alpha HUD. It's exactly the items that you had before this update. So if you're looking to just swap over to the updated product you can wear the classic until you're ready for bake on mesh or you can swap back and forth as you need it depending on what you're going to wear in the day so you've got both of those included which is very handy and then a landmark to the store so that's the unpacking of the hourglass bundle the male bundle the female bundle will be similar our original and hourglass and as I said the hands the feet and the bodies separately will all be the same. There will be a classic and a Redux version included. Hi, so I zoomed out so that you would be able to see the full effect of what is going to go on. So I'm going to take off my hands, my, my feet, my body, my utilities HUD for my body and we detach those. and they'll come off any second there we go <laughs> okay and we are going to go to the Redux Hourglass Mesh Body Bundle folder now remember this is a bundle meaning it's all in one inclusive connected in the bundle form so it's the body the hands and the feet as one but if you just want to wear the body you have that included the hands or the feet you have those included as well so we put this on now remember I'm not in a baked on mesh viewer so this is what you're going to see. Now I'm going to go a little bit further than this and I'm going to go into my little look ahead and I'm also going to press the bake on mesh button and this will what be what happens to the head as well. So you think you're ready for going into the bake on mesh viewer but there's little words of warning. What's going to actually happen is when I cross over into the Bake on Mesh viewer and I install, uh, I am Bake on Mesh ready, I'm going to end up looking exactly as I look in my system layers. So the skin that I'm wearing will be applied and any system layer clothing I'm wearing. If I'm not wearing system layer clothing, I'm going to end up naked. So the thing that's really important before you go any further is to make sure that you've got a skin on that you want to see and that you've got clothing on that you want to be covered up with if you're modest like I am. If you're a little nudist, go for it and <laughs> do whatever you like. But just to, just to clarify, if I didn't have this dress on and I was to go full on bake on mesh I would be naked because I haven't got any system layers on so I'm going to pop summer on in a second and then I'm going to move over to the other viewer. Eek! But this is what you will look like on a bake on mesh viewer. On some viewers you might appear all red. On this one you appear invisible except for your fingernails, toenails and parts that are not bake on mesh. So how do you fix that you ask? Well let me tell you the first thing you do is find your body alpha and you remove it and voila. You'll go grey for a second and here we go. We are now system layers dressed. Uh, let's talk about the HUD. So I'm going to actually have to change hair, I just realized, but that's exciting because I own a lot of hair. Just, just hold on. Okay, so this is the Slink Physique Utilities HUD. The first option is to delete all scripts, minimize, maximize, and detach. You can also hit one of the question marks for information on how the HUD works, and then let's go into it. So you've got the nipples on and off so depending on how you wear your clothes that's really handy but off as you will see it's more natural for wearing clothing 
Shirt stretch pulls out the fabric away from the body giving it a more realistic look. This won't necessarily work with plunging necklines but for all inclusive sweaters like this one it adds a little bit more realism to the look. Smooth panties takes care of the crotch area because the mesh is detailed down there. That means that that gets completely smoothed out making it more acceptable for mixed company. And the smooth bottom which is one of my favourite parts is... I should probably have not worn black but here goes. So as you see for more realistic look where the fabric is stretched across the buttocks instead of going into the buttocks. So that's a really cool feature. I like all of those, especially for wearing system layers, which I am a big fan of. So the alpha mask cutoff, this is when I mentioned earlier that the alphas were blurry on purpose. This actually, I'll show you with this. So if we just put on a nipple layer to hide the nipple area with an alpha, if you're wearing something where that part of your chest pokes through, the alpha mask cutoff, because of the blur, allows you to actually use the sliders to make those bigger or smaller depending on the need for your mesh, which is amazing because it means you don't have to go out and make different increments of the same thing. If not needed, it gives you a lot to play with there. And the same will be said for the lower section. Then you have the neck fitting, which you had previously, but the Luluka heads and slink bodies fit together seamlessly, so you just need to have that off. The tinting of the skin, now this is very important. System layers are system layers, meaning they are essentially the same as your skin. So anything that you tint is going to tint all of it. So if you want to tint your skin then you'll need to wear mesh clothing or if you like the look of tinting all of it then go for it that works too you will also see the RGB numbers down here at the bottom so whatever tint that you add to your body skin you can also add to your little look ahead because they also have an RGB function in their tinting section anything that you particularly like and want to save you hit the V and it will save it and you can do that all the way around and then you can come back to that at any time if you want to remove them you just hit the X and reset to white so that's how you tint your skin then you can apply sheen as you did in the past but again because it looks at your clothing as a skin layer any materials will be added on top of the clothing so if you want to uh, have the sheen just affecting your skin then you would be wearing mesh clothing or be a nudist like I mentioned before so uh, those that like latex and rubbery looks though this is kind of hot so there's that then you've got the glossiness and environment value up you can become a rubber dolly Fulbright is a function and you can actually tint the gloss as well. So you can go in here, add some color. So if you're going clubbing or something like that, it will look like lights are reflecting off you, which is kind of fun. Or you could just stand there while everybody's dancing <laughs> and just play with the colors and really confuse a lot of people. Um, because of course they're all looking at you, of course. Okay, you can clear the spec map and your normal map there. Then as previously, you've got your nails lengths which are controlled there or you can turn them off if you wear third party nails. You also have a gloves button which will automatically turn off your nails and it actually adds a little volume to your hands and fingers which means that if people start making system apply um, system layer, not applier, system layer gloves, uh, it will look more realistic and a little bit more mesh-like than just looking like texture on your hands, which is exciting. Then if you have the deluxe feet or a bundle as this is, you have the function for changing your feet heights. And you can do left and right separately, which is always fun and adds a little bit more realism to photography. You can turn off your nails, you can lock your ankles as you've always been able to do and then you've got the stocking option 
and because the system layers do not identify the individual toes what happens when you wear a sock is thus if you added a, an opaque looking stocking it would look like this with the individual toes but if you press the opaque button they've created this look to look as though your feet are fully covered in a stocking or sock so for men as well if they want to wear socks this is how it'll look which is just wonderful because that brings back that authenticity so if you do a sheer stocking it will do a sheer coverage and it has a toe cap like a vintage looking pair of stockings which is kind of wonderful and you can tint those to match any color you like we talked earlier about the toe tip and fingertip covers for the feet and hands this skin that I'm wearing by Sashi Vixen of Adam and Eve was actually created for mesh even though it's a system layer so it's essentially a baked on mesh skin which is coming soon and it's glorious so it doesn't have the marks that I was referring to so I've thrown on a much older skin so as you can see the lines are where the toes were painted in and the toenails themselves were on the nail plate everything like that so you can actually see the detailing that we used to have to have for feet but now moving over to mesh that all doesn't line up and is unnecessary to do the lines so the toe tips for redux has a brown version and a grey tintable version depending on what sort of skin type that you have when you add that you will see that it completely covers that area and is compatible these tones are very similar to each other so I would be completely fine with that uh, if you needed it to be dark or a lighter you could play around with it uh, because it is tintable so you can change that as needed the same goes for the hands because nails use fingernails used to have to be painted on so if I turn off the nails you will see that there's painted on now sorry about my camera controls uh, so you've got the fingertips for Red Oaks Brown, so you add those in and as it bakes in then you would turn your fingernails back on and there you go so you get rid of that white nail bed that was already painted there so that's a really handy thing to have it's included in the package so you have that to use as you need it I wanted to show you quickly the asymmetry harness, the clothing layer, the tattoos layer. It includes alphas for the visibility of sections of your arm and feet and hands. The reason that it's only in the bundle is because of the hands and feet being connected to it. They didn't slice that up. So this is only available for bundle people. Uh, you turn off the clothing option if you just want to have the tattoo and I just whipped up this tattoo and allocated it to left arm so if you want to just have the one then you could just turn off the other portions or you could have tattoos for different parts different segments and that would work unlike the SLUV so keeping that in there was really important uh, because it's something that you were able to use in the previous versions of the body so they made that part of the bundle I have covered as much as I can cover for the Redux system and I hope you enjoy it and I hope to see you bake on mesh around the grid. Thank you very much.